All right, today we're going to be working on this Jacobson Chief 800. It's got a couple of issues, um, and one of them is it's got a battery drain. So uh, I could go in there and start looking around, trying to figure out where it's at. But uh, I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to put this uh, this battery kill switch on. And um, the other issue I've got here is this uh, valve here, the shutoff valve for the fuel, is leaking. And I believe it's leaking from this side because your filter here is completely dry inside. Uh, I don't think it's leaking from the tank side because when I turn that on, it starts filling up. So, uh, got to see if I've got another one of these and put it on. But uh, what I've come up with here is <clears throat> I found a bracket here that I think will work pretty good. And so, let me show you how I want to mount this. So, I'm thinking I'll use that one screw here on top and we'll go ahead and drill and maybe tap for the bottom there. I, I think I'll probably just drill it and uh, put a nut on the back side. But that is where I want to mount it. So I'll drill a hole in the face of that and uh, I'll probably go ahead and cut these slots off and uh, shorten it up a bit. Um, put a hole right about here and we'll go ahead and install it there. Um, how I'm going to route these cables is I'm going to go up and over this and you, as you can see, I've got the battery charger on the battery. And I'll bring the cables right through here. And we'll hook one to the battery. And one to here. And then we'll come back off of here. And come to the ground right here. So uh, let's go over on the bench. I think I got everything all set up. And we'll start making everything up that we need. All right, so we're over here on the bench, and uh, I thought about ordering a cable. This one here, I think, is a four-foot cable, and um, when I got looking at them, they're pretty expensive. So what I'm going to do is I've got these battery terminal ends here. I've got uh, quite a few of them, but all, all we need is three for this one. It does have one on this end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the length I need and cut it. And we're going to make our own battery cables for this thing. So let me go measure that and I'll be right back. And uh, how I'm going to do this, you can crimp these, but I don't have the crimp tool. So I'm going to go ahead and solder them. I think that'll be just fine. All right, so I took it over there, and I got my thumb right there where I'm going to have to cut it, but uh, that's pretty much what we need right here. So I'm going to make two of them that length. So go ahead and chop this. And uh, we'll do the same thing here. So that's all we had left on there is that little piece. Throw that off to the side. Go ahead and strip all these ends. Looks like uh, oh, about three quarters of an inch. There we go. And we'll do the rest of them like that. Set it up in the vise and see if we can solder it in. All right, we're gonna heat this up. Oh yeah, went solder in there. There we go. All right, got them all uh, soldered in. I did put some heat shrink on, um, and they look pretty good. So, 
I guess let's start working on that bracket. All right, well, both of my batteries died on my cordless, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this one here. Make sure we're not on hammer. See if that switch fits. Sure does. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all these edges and uh, we'll throw some matching paint on it. Go from there. All right, I got it all uh, fixed up. We're gonna go ahead and throw some matching paint on it. Hopefully this actually sprays. It's been sitting a while. Turn that fan on so that we can uh, vent the building. that sit and uh, tack up and we'll come back in uh, probably half an hour or so and put more paint on it. All right, so while I got that sitting there drying, let's go ahead and go on over and uh, we'll drill a hole in the tractor. Much as I hate to do that, it is what it is. I got two coats of paint on that and uh, we're going to go ahead and let that dry. Uh, while that's drying, I figure we can go ahead and we'll get these cables put on. There's one. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this little guy. No sense in having it on here. There we go.
All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the battery cable here. Now I'm looking at this, see how that's metal all the way back there. I'm going to have to keep that off of there somehow. You know, maybe I ought to take some heat shrink tubing and put around it. Let me go grab some. Just so that if that does slide over, we're not defeating the purpose of the switch. There we go. There we go. That'll take care of that problem. I am going to make sure it's not touching, but for some reason, if the vibration does end up uh, ca causing these terminals to loosen, at least I know it won't short out or short together rather. All right. See that not touching. So basically these are going to go up through here like that and uh, I have to put a little bit of a bend on it here, get it to go up and around and I'm going to zip tie it. But uh, that's pretty much right there how it's going to, how it's going to sit. So I'll zip tie it and uh, see you tomorrow morning. All right, guys, it's morning and uh, about 27 degrees out this morning. A little chilly. Let's go see if our paint's dry. I'm gonna have to get a fire going. Let's see here. It is still 45 degrees in here. Let's see here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good enough to touch, so we'll go ahead and uh, get a fire going real quick and uh, get that put on. All right, we're going to let that get going and uh, warm the shop up a little bit. I do have to go get more firewood, and then we'll get to working on the tractor. Now, I've got some washers here. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw a washer on because that hole on this bracket is quite a bit bigger so that'll take up a lot of that space all right I got it put on I had a little bit of trouble there's not a whole lot of room behind there to work so let's go ahead and get that switch put on and that's right right there is how it's going to sit These are going to be straight up and down. There we go. Let's see here. Head about there. Now, do we put this like that? I think so. 
because it'll go either way, but I think we're going to go to the inside. All right, so down is off, up is on, just like a light switch. With it down, see if it'll do anything. Nope. Let's turn it on. That's what it's supposed to do. So, there you go. We have it installed. I don't think it looks too bad. No, it ain't too bad. It would be nice if I had a way to cover this thing up, but honestly, that's fine. It's a garden tractor. I do have some uh, wire loom I guess I could put over that, but uh, I don't know if it's necessary. Let me shut that hood and we'll see. No, I'd say that looks pretty good. If you weren't looking for it, you'd never see it. See how it looks from this side. Yeah, that worked out. Now, if I sit on it, is it going to be in the way? Nope. Not at all. Nice. Well, there you go. That's how you install a battery kill switch.